Hi, my name is Adi. Today I'm going to show you how to do an instant wire transfer to Coinbase so that when you buy your crypto, your crypto can be available for use instantly. And using it instantly it means that you can send it to someone, you can sell it to someone, you can transfer, you can convert, you can do anything. So doing a, a wire transfer to Coinbase you have to go through these steps. If this is your first time of watching my video, kindly, kindly click the subscribe button so that whenever I do a new video, you will get an alert. Subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll start by clicking on my Coinbase. So I'm gonna click on the Coinbase icon. I am doing this from an Android phone. So if you do have, uh, if you have an iPhone, the graphical user interface may be different it means that things may be you know scattered everywhere in a different way so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your home on your coinbase when you click on your home you are going to be on this page this is where you're going to be from here you want to click on your portfolio when you click on your portfolio so whatever money that you have did the um, transferred or did a wire transfer into coinbase with so if you have done a wire transfer before it's going to go into your us dollars your wire transfer will not go towards bitcoin or any cryptocurrency what you're doing is you are just adding funds to your balance so whatever money that you wired is going to go into your us dollars so from the us dollars all you need to do is to click on the us dollars and it will show you a history of what you have done before. So if you don't have any history, it's fine. All you want to do is go to your deposit. So click on deposit. So from your deposit, you can see wire transfer, not bank account, wire transfer. So go ahead and click on wire transfer. And for wire transfer, you will see the wire deposit, uh, wire transfer details. Now, please, please, make sure that you check your account number this account number is unique to your own coinbase account and i'm going to say this again this account is unique to your coinbase account if you use this account number that you have on my screen wire transfer will come to me so please go through the steps. Make sure you are logged in into your Coinbase account and you go through the steps. So when you do your wire transfer, so it's going to it's supposed and it's going to be a wire transfer. You have to do a wire transfer. It is not an ACH. Not an ACH. It's supposed to be a wire transfer. When you go to your bank, you're online, you'll see transfer. From your transfer, you'll see wire transfer. Not ACH. Not Zill. It has to be a wire transfer. When you do the wire transfer, uh, Coinbase will charge you a $10 fee for receiving your wire transfer, which means if you do, let's say, uh, 1100 Coinbase will charge you $10 for receiving that wire. And as soon as you complete your wire on your bank and the wire has gone through, Coinbase will deposit the money right here into your US dollars balance. It will come to your US dollars balance. Now, if the money is available or showing in your US dollar balance, what you can now do is if you want to buy a crypto with this, for example, if I want to buy Bitcoin with this, all I just need to do is to click on my left and right arrow which is my navigator i'll click on it and i'll click on buy crypto when i click on buy crypto it will ask me what kind of asset do i want to buy for example i say i want to buy bitcoin now when i click i want to buy bitcoin you can see it automatically defaults to my debit card however if i don't want to use if i use my debit card my cryptocurrency will not be available immediately the max that I can get that will be available will be $500 out of whatever amount that I buy, even for $1,250. And this $1,250 is $1,250 per week, so which doesn't make sense. So you want to click on this box right here. You change it to what? 
to your cash you see us cash so if i use my us cash now you can see it says i have a cash of this amount now i can choose the amount of bitcoin that i want to buy i can say i want to buy one thousand and ninety dollars that i have there then i'll click on preview and now you can see this is the keyword here you see right here what it says zero days it says trade your bitcoin instantly while we wait for your phone you can send your btc in zero days the reason why you're getting this is because you are you did a wire transfer hold on one second if i change this to my wells fargo uh card right and i do uh, let's say you know, i click on preview say trade your btc while you wait for your phone you can send the btc in zero days that is what it's saying right but if you look at this the charges is like 41 dollars. it's a lot of money now for you to get this trust me i walked my way up here because i had to keep on increasing my limit my limit like my, my limit if you check on your um, debit card it's probably 50 dollars per week or 100 dollars per week for me to have that amount took some time now let me go back to if i use my bank account if i use my bank account you say say i can do fifty thousand limit if i go to preview now you can see what i have here now it's charging me less however you can see that i will not be able to use this my bitcoin instantly say trade your btc instantly while we wait for your phone you can send your btc in eight days it's going to hold this btc uh my cryptocurrency my bitcoin for eight days which means i cannot use it so be wise be wise so when you send your money it's going to go into your portfolio and this is where you're going to see it if you have any questions send me a message uh, shoot me an email and if you want me to talk about something else just let me know don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.